Behold a sight for sore eyes because I haven't been inside a Walmart since March of 2020. I knew bike supplies were getting back to normal-ish, ish being actually an overabundance of bikes, so I decided to risk it. I N95'd up and darted to the back of the Walmart bike section at 6.14 a.m. Strategic timing. And this looks like old times. This is exactly what I expect to see on Memorial Day weekend. Plenty of bikes and a few empty slots only because those have sold because we're in peak bike season. I'm honestly giddy with excitement, old oh, Walmart bike shop, how I have missed you. There's just something about racks filled with affordable bikes that really gets me pedaling. Interestingly, the end cap the last time I saw it had Bayside's on it. Here they are again. Remember when I bought that Bayside for $30 because it had a warped wheel? Well, it wasn't this cool matte finish, but it does have the same spec, so it's essentially the same bike, just not as cool looking. Of course, the price has changed, but it's currently on rollback pricing, $218 and 20 22 bucks, pretty good. But other bikes are catching my eye because I think this is the first time I've seen a tapered head tube aluminum comp on the rack at my local Walmart. I'm so joyed to see this, I had to fight back emotional waterworks. Happy tears. You know how I like my aluminum comps, and look, another first at my local Walmart, a tapered head tube Schwinn boundary, right beside it. A quick pause just to point out some things. If you're new here, aluminum comp reviewed it. Boundary reviewed it. Hyper, I'm pretty sure. This is the Havoc reviewed it. Beside that, the Huffy Nel Luso. That's going back pretty far, but reviewed it. And this, I believe, is a women's Cranbrook, just in a color I've never seen before. Mongoose Excursion, I've covered that in store. Huffy Men's Cranbrook, own one, and I've reviewed it, but it's not this cool matte blue color. Beyond that, it's mostly bikes that are 20 and 24 inch, which are among the biggest sellers at Walmart, which is why there are so many empty racks, but we still have more adult bikes. I know it's 24 inch wheels, but this Trail Runner does look like a nice bike. Love that color. And how about the chrome headset? Schwinn Sidewinder, this is a 24, but I've reviewed the 26 Sidewinder. Remember that any bike you can ride and enjoy is a good bike. Another Nel Luso, though this one has bright orange tires, which I think I like even better. The Nel Luso, a Walmart staple. And this, now that 198, that's actually not the this. That's for a hyper commuter that's not in stock. This picture, that's a Kent Lady Sea Change, and for only $98. Had they have had one of these in stock, I would have left with one. Look at this, another Schwinn Aluminum Comp in stock. $268, which is up $20. Still worth it, in my opinion. And another, another Aluminum Comp. This one, the Sea Mist Blue Comp, which I made Project Sea Mist out of. So from no tapered head tube comps to comp, 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 let the good times commence a rollin' in 2022. Kent Flexor, I love the color combo, but I must say satin, that's got to be the finish of choice this year for bike manufacturers. Pork Chop, I've reviewed the 24 and the 26 inch Mongoose Durham's, this a 29 inch Durham. Maybe I'll add it to my list and complete my lineup of Durham reviews. Now this, this is new at Walmart. Rock Rider, it's from Decathlon, a brand that contacted me about reviewing their bikes. I know the brand a step up from the usual big box box. Meaning components just a little bit nicer. For instance, this fork looks like it is Suntour caliber. But I pointed out that their price was a little high for bikes that were all equipped at the time they launched with rim brakes. 398 bucks for a bike with rim brakes, even though it's a sized frame, that's a lot to ask. And I never heard back from them after I told them that, but look at this, that 398 is now 198. That's an entirely different argument. And I saw that they now offer a bike with disc brakes on the Walmart website, so Decathlon may have some future potential. From Rock Rider to Rock Creek, the Huffy Rock Creek, wow, this is a massive change since I reviewed it. I could talk about Walmart bikes all day, especially since there are now bikes on the racks. Even the Youngling bikes catch my eye. Wouldn't the Spider-Man mask look super good on my Project Axum 21? Bonus, I tried to find a picture that I had that was taken late last year of empty bike accessory racks. Well, look at this. I think there were only three helmets in that picture and about five different accessories, but now packed full and check this out, Blackburn pumps. These pumps did well in my never seen due to tech apocalypse video, but I'm working on a do-over version. But I do like these Blackburn pumps and all the Blackburn accessories. Need tubes. Look, I don't know of a single person, expensive bike, or cheap bike that hasn't hit up Wally World at some point for an emergency tube. Now they have a full stock again, including these slime self-sealing tubes, which for $6.96 are pretty good. 2022 riding season, Walmart back in play for bike shoppers. 
My only curiosity is where are the e-bikes? The fastest growing segment, though my local Walmart, I've never seen a bike over $250 here, so maybe that's why. Comment below if you were seeing e-bikes at your Walmart. And how are the overall bike stock levels where you are and have you made a Walmart bike purchase in 2022? There are a couple of new non-e-bike Walmart bikes that I'll be reviewing in the coming weeks as well as a few more new e-bikes. And one of those non-e-bikes you're definitely going to want to see so make sure you have that notification bell active. For me, I was just happy to be at the Walmart bike shop again. My first venture out, it's kind of like going to Disney World. I even left with souvenirs, some Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars and 4th of July decorations. Anyway, I just thought I would share my joy. Are you happy seeing bikes back in stores now? Comment below, thanks for watching Kev Central, and have a great day.